What is going on, my precious gems? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, and welcome to another Pokemon Duel video, you guys. We are still out here in the Fire Gym Cup, tearing, tearing it up, as I like to say, and we are only one win away from getting the Groudon. We are currently at... It doesn't show us. It doesn't show us. I believe we are only one win away from getting Groudon, and I want to... Where... How can I find this out? Tell me, tell me, Sway. Oh, it says one more win right there. So we are one win away from getting Groudon, and I'm super excited to get this on on screen for you guys. And yeah, hold up, hold the front door. What what's going on here? Okay, there we go. It seemed uh, for some reason it wasn't like the the full screen wasn't wasn't there. But we are still out here in the Fire Gym Cup. Let's go ahead and find us. A duel to get us that precious grout on if you guys are enjoying the pokemon duel content then definitely be sure to leave a like on the video as well as comment what you think about it if you're new to the crew then definitely be sure to keep up with me on the socials to the left as well as adding yourself to the sasser by hitting that subscribe button and let's go ahead and see what we get i hope we don't get something too monstrous we don't go first which is awesome he has two hurdle jumps double chance and an x attack which is good for us because he doesn't have Gold block and we can put on some pressure. It's kind of bad for us because double hurdle jump is kind of scary. It is definitely kind of scary. So here's to hoping that we can we can pull off some nice good tricks. And I've been getting a little bit more practice in with putting in some pressure with this Vibrava trap team. It's a trap! As he does go into the ho -Oh, I'm pretty sure here he's gonna go for the hurdle jump and we'll have to gold block honestly yep and really we don't even have to go for the gold block let's just go ahead and move by brava that way he's gonna advance forward but that'll give us a opportunity to boy we need to get a moltres out here we need to get a moltres out here hands down he knows how to stop us. He definitely knows how to stop this from rolling. So he's going to cover up our entry point with Heatran. That is going to suck for us. Um, I would do want to go ahead and try to get rid of this thing because you couldn't at least land on like Roost or something, my dude. So this is really bad for us now because we've got a burn Moltres and a burn Moltres is not a fun Moltres in the TUs. So hmm. Let's go ahead and go for Heatran with our Vibrava. It doesn't miss at all, so it landed on a miss, and we could have you could have landed on anything else, Vibrava, and that would have been fine. Like you could have landed on Supersonic, you could have landed on Mudshot, you could have landed on Dragon Breath and we would have been in a much better situation, but I I guess we'll take it. I guess we will take what we have to get in this situation. Uh, we are kind of screwed though, because... Why are you ex... Why did you do that? Bro. Should I hurdle jump here? No. Let's go ahead and go for this heat train again. I was thinking about hurdle jumping. Well, at least you didn't land on Dragon Breath, I guess. But you need to quit landing on Screech, because that, that shit's gonna... It's not gonna fly. We need to land on Supersonic, or we need Mud Bomb, or something. We need something to take care of this Heatran. And actually, getting... Getting Supersonic off is gonna be the best move, because... Well, I want to keep going for this because I need to get him off of my entry point. Like, that's all I need to do. Oh! Oh! Gold. Pure gold. You know what? Let's take away Soar. You will not fly above me. You will not fi fly above me. And, I mean, you can waste a hurdle jump. That's fine. That is all fine and well. But you will not fly above me and cover up my entry point again. I'll make you use that plate. That's the plan, anyway. And for some reason, I'm noticing, there we go, he is popping off the hurdle jump. Hurdle jump does go off. 
and I kind of want to go for it. this. Uh, that would have been nice if he landed on Miss. And I'm really noticing, I'm really noticing the level of fucked over that I've been getting from the wheels still spinning. As I like to say, I, I, I do feel like this is kind of predetermined. The roles are predetermined at a server level the moment that you engage in a battle. But at the same time, like... We're not going to get Groudon. That, like, that's it. We're not going to get Groudon. Let's go ahead and defend with Flygon. There's nothing we can do. There's absolutely nothing we can do. We can try to X-Attack and go for Reshiram, but it has such a slim chance on landing on um, freaking... I mean, I... I don't know what to really do here. Sora's null and void. Um, I don't want to waste too much time. I guess we'll go for Reshiram. Hope for a Draco Meteor. Yes! Actually, should I go for Moltres? Yes. Reshiram was definitely my best play. Reshiram would have been a good play, but at the same time, it's going to go for the surround kill, and that's going to be annoying for us to deal with. And I think here, like now, I might have to actually use my X attack on on Moltres to, to try and get... Oh, oh, please, Draco Meteor. Yes. Oh, wait, it gets fly. Okay. So he's probably going to go on the other side of Moltres. Yep. And might as well just pop off this X attack and go for this blue flaring son of a bitch because take away. <sighs> really? I mean, I guess I'm okay with that, but Roost would have been amazing to land on. Roost would have been great because it would have healed our burn. And here we are, struggling, struggling to live. Now, Draco Meteor. I'm just gonna have to pop my hurdle jump. I'm just gonna have to pop my hurdle jump and hope for the best. I'm noticing that my, my mic like recording volume like when I'm just like with recording it's not coming through as loud as it normally is and I don't like that lands on fly um let's go for the swap spot here because I don't want to rely on a burn Moltres come on Flygon You are a stupid Flygon. You are a very stupid Flygon. Lose. Go ahead and make me lose. That was stupid. That's the only thing I don't like about this deck is that it takes so much setup, and if you can't set up, then you like you you just like you're kind of screwed unless you can somehow get a knockout. So let's go ahead and see what we get in this in this booster. Diglett? Ah, War Turtle. Garbage, but meh. Go ahead and find ourselves another duel. Uh, I just want to get Groudon in this video. Like, how hard is that to ask? How hard is that to ask for? Please, like, give me a give me an opponent that will lose. It also doesn't help that I'm such a high like ranking or not super high, but I'm kind of in that mid tier of players please let him go first thank you okay so we'll just have to play accordingly hope to set up accordingly and win accordingly I didn't even check out his plates let's go ahead and do that two hurdle jumps okay you dirty bastards running double hurdle jump y'all are evil y'all are just evil and the fact that he's got a Whimsicott, Whimsicott destroyed me. I think in a couple of videos back, I want to say it was maybe Saturday's video. Uh, 
I was telling y'all how I got fucked over in a duel in league matches. Whimsicott did that. Whimsicott will stop a Deoxys no matter what. Like, the only thing I can really... Obvious. I gotta think about this. I mean, I have to go go block. So fucking stupid. This is so stupid. Or hurdle jump. Yeah, hurdle jump. Be, or no, goal block. Because if I hurdle jump over the Greninja, he's gonna just hurdle jump again, making me waste both my hurdle jump and my goal block. So, man, that is that is just obnoxious, man. But what we'll do. Getting a stupid ho -oh out. Okay. We can make him use a hurdle jump. We can make him use a hurdle jump by challenging the ho -oh. And this actually does put us in a really shitty spot because if he goes for. No, no, we'll be fine. Alright, well. He used the second hurdle jump, he's not getting that back. Oh, what a shitty way to play. Now here it's like, he either kills by Brava, or he kills... Hmm. Okay. Fuck. I guess we just take on Greninja. Yes! Oof. When I saw that spin happen, I was like, whoo! Alright, he's sending out his heat train. Let's get our second Moltres out here because we out here. We're 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 bullin'. We are bullin'. As he just goes straight for the Moltres, he doesn't give Are you fucking kidding me, man? Where are you gonna make me slide to? To the left? Probably to the left. Or the right. That's fine, I guess. Let's go ahead and send Gabite out here. We'll bait the attack, and then we will surround kill with either Moltres or Reshiram. Okay, so might as well just go full speed ahead. Full speed ahead, and we'll see what he wants to do with that. Let's go ahead and take out this Vibrava. See, we needed a Supersonic, but the second we fight a Vibrava, he gets Supersonic off. That's fucking stupid. That's actually kind of stupid. So, now in order to land on Blue Flare, we need to land on... God, this is so dumb. Okay. Like, we need to land on a miss, essentially, in order to take out this Vibrava. And not necessarily, we just... We need to land on our second fly, our left fly piece. Just stop that thing in its tracks, please. So, what do we do here? Um... I guess we'll set Moltres up for a surround kill on Heatran, as he goes for Reshiram with, our, with Flygon. We're gonna hit that fly button. Oh, we win. We win. That gives us the Groudon. Get over here! Get over here! Ah, confused and all! Whew! Okay. That's what you get. That's what you get, you stupid, stupid Vibrava. We are at... Ah! Ah! Yeah, yeah. Feels good, mate. Feels good. Give it to me. Mm. Mm. Screenshot! Screenshot. Now, should I run Groudon? I feel like I should just immediately put Groudon in my deck. In place of Reshiram? Reshiram is kind of just there, kind of like a, 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 a six, kind of like a expendable piece for me to, expendable figure for me to run. So, let's go ahead and put this, this god in here, Groudon. 
see how well it does. I'm not gonna even worry about leveling it up. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh my god. All the effects. Oh, it's good. It is good. It is good, my friends. All right, so let's go ahead and get us a duel. We'll see how well it does. I honestly don't think it'll do too well, but it does get a, a boost from the gym. Uh, its attacks are what? 130 and 70 now, or 130 and 90? I can't exactly remember what what Groudon has. Honestly, why does I don't? I've seen decks that have Flygon and Vibrava, and not Vibrava that evolves into Flygon. And I feel like in this gym, it doesn't, it shouldn't, like you just should try to evolve your Flygon if that's the case, especially since there's so many Moltres out there running amok, like it's probably the best thing to do, but maybe there's, there's a hidden tech that I am missing. So if you guys know why in the comment section, definitely be sure to let me know. I'm always down to, to learn new things. So let's go ahead and place our Vibrava out there. Uh, he probably gets his Charizard or his Heatrain out on the left side. I can totally see that happening. Yep. There he is. There is the Heatrain. I do miss in the, what was it, the Dragon Gym Cup? Vibrava could move three spaces and it was just nasty. It was just disgusting. It was horrifying. He's obviously going to pop off a hurdle jump. Because y'all are some bastards. Okay. Let's, let's, let's lay down our hurdle jump on Vibrava. Now we're okay with it to do this because he doesn't have a sec second hurdle jump. And I, I don't know what I did with that sentence there, but I just butchered it. I straight butchered it. I murked it, fam. And I, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe my mic's not close enough, but I hate having the mic all up in my face like this. Maybe I should just do my Pokemon Duel videos like this from now on, like an ASMR, like, okay, and now we're going to wait for the next turn to see what our opponent does as he does pop off the double chance. Goes for our Vibrava. And he gets the fucking mud shot, are you kidding me? I swear, this, this Vibrava is retarded. And now I just straight up lose here. I mean, I guess I just exit. Oh wait. I, I have gold block. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Okay. Let's go ahead. Gold block here. I should have just gone and attacked the Heatran. Because now he's going to lay his Moltres down on my entry point. I could try and challenge the Moltres though. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's challenge Moltres. Because Heatran is relaxed, so it has a minus move point. Come on, Vibrava. God, I hate Vibrava. I don't know if I should make Groudon the freaking thumbnail or if I should make this stupid. Wait. 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 Okay, so we have a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance he could soar over us. Wait. Wait. Hold up. Wait. All right. God, I hate Vibrava. I hate this thing now. <sighs> Wait, win. Or loss. Lost for us. Fucking stupid. That's just dumb. That is dumb. And that is fucking stupid. Let's open up our other booster. Dumb. I'm not happy. I'm not a happy man. A Primplup. Primplup. Man's out here getting... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and use some energy. Use some gems. Acquire us some more energy. And this will probably be the last duel for the day because I want to get this up today as quickly as possible for you guys. I know I didn't really upload it. I didn't get this episode up earlier today. So um, normally I like to have my videos out at like 2 o'clock CST. So we will see. I feel like I've been against this team or maybe this deck before this guy I don't know let's 
So dumb. Okay. So we move first. Might as well lead off with Moltres. Hmm. He sends Moltres on the other side? No, he sends out Vibraba. Okay. Alright, let's send out our second Moltres. We'll send out Vibrava and then go for a swap spot and, and maneuver a little bit. Just goes, you greedy, greedy man. You are a greedy, greedy, greedy man. So, let's go ahead and on this ne on the next two turns, what we'll do is place Vibrava down and then go for the spot swap spot. And we'll swap spot, we'll use it on Moltres. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, popping it. Sweet. So now we have our trap sort of set up, not entirely, but it is there. Now what I could do is put my second Moltres in front of his and kind of challenge it and bait him out the uh, bait out the uh, hurdle jump and he, oh he's got a swap spot too interesting um, bait out the hurdle jump and then go for moving Gabite in to, to get us a round kill we'll see how well that goes I don't think it'll go that well TBH Unless I hurdle jump over it, I place this Moltres here, and then hurdle jump over it and trap it in, forcing him to only make a defensive drawback and put and put his Moltres on that side with Geo Dude. Hey, thank you for being so kind, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for not being an asshole. Even though I like, I'm gonna do the same thing. Because normally, what I like to do is choke people out. Sending Charmeleon, guys. He, oh, okay, so it's 13090. 12% chance to miss. I'm not liking that one bit. So go ahead, bring your Charmeleon out here. I ain't scared, I'm real. I do exist, in fact. Ba -na -na. Uh, why don't we... We could go for his entry point. And this could mean that he brings his heat train out to, to fight us. And if he does do that, unless he advances Charmeleon, he maybe moves Geodude or his Moltres. Alright, so he goes for Moltres. Roost, uh, it, that kind of sucks because I really wanted to uh, soar over it and then get a surround off with. with, uh, what's his name? With Gabite. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Moltres. There we go, Moltres. Holy shit, you are a god. Good job. So, we got a heat train out the way. That's kind of a huge threat given the magma slide and just the high attack power. Um, getting around this Groudon is going to be an issue, though. As he does soar above us. Onto our entry point, forcing us to go ahead and. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, boy, I don't know where that yawn came from. Came from the the great beyond. Ha ha ha! The great beyond. You get it, guys? Okay. I kind of want to test Groudon's power. Come on, Groudon. First smash. First smash. Yeah. 
All right, so he's probably gonna move his grad on. I realize that this person has taken up a lot of time. Like, a lot of time. What do you do, though? Like, are you gonna move your... Yeah. Now, I dare you to try and attack me with Geodude. I just... I triple dog dare you, motherfucker. Oh, wow, you actually did. Wow, um, I'm just gonna put you back here, because <laughs> that was pretty wild. What I should do is, okay. So let's just scoot Moltres over to Groudon. He shouldn't still be able to soar over me. I don't think that's possible. No, it's not. I don't even know why I'm questioning that. I've been using Moltres for like a solid week now. Maybe he moves Charmeleon, he scoots. Dodging. I do want to set us up to cover up one of his entry points, though. That's what I, that's actually what I really want to do. Attack me. Attack me. See me. Catch me outside. Well, how about that? Ka-ting! And then we'll advance our Vibrava on this side. Uh, kind of forcing him to move Heatran over to this side. Okay. And then we can easily bring our Moltres back here. As he goes for Groudon. And lands on Roost. Alright. Let's start advancing. Let's start pushing our wall. I almost freaked out for a second because I thought that for some reason. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving Gabite. I think moving Gabite is kind of our best move. We can also move Vibrava over to the Moltres to kind of answer it. Anyway, make most sense for him to put his Charmeleon here. Bruh. Oh no, girl, what is you doing? Oh, he could go for a hurdle jump here. Hmm. Hmm, goodbye. Kind of forcing us to reset our, our boundaries, but it's all right. Hmm. Let's go ahead and cover up this one. Because this is, like, our right side is very heavily defensive right now, and we can just start moving Vibrava up right up here. And he doesn't have his Moltres, so I can soar any... Anywhere I want. Literally anywhere I want. We soarin'. Let's go ahead and place Vibrava here, just in case he does want to go ahead and try to get the knockout. Or go for maybe our own Vibrava. That, that would make a lot of sense. If he lands on self-destruct, though, it's kind of over. But he doesn't. Did I hurdle jump already? No, I didn't. So, let's go ahead. Kating, knock you out. Actually, 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 let's go ahead and move not just by Brava, but we should move our Moltres that way. As they both get a one turn wait. And he can't get his Vibrava out there either, so his heat train is kind of fucked. This heat train is definitely fucked, actually. He has to take out Vibrava, which I'm pretty com- Ooh! Oh no, girl, what is you doing? <laughs> alright, Kating. Alright, alright, we're, we're making our way. We're making our way downtown. 
walking fast. Face is passed and I'm homebound. As we get the mud shot kill off on Charmillion, we're not evolving. Let's just place my Bravi here. And if we can choke out this Groudon, that is good game. That is good game, my friends. Just land on Screech or Supersonic. Watch, it's not. It's gonna land on. Steady predicted. Let's go ahead and push. He can't even move. He can't even move. It's a weight loss. It's a weight loss. Well, actually, Vibrava, you did the right thing. Unless you can, like, hurdle jump, swap spot. Forfeit. What could he have done? I don't I don't think he had a Pokemon Switch. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. But that does give us another win, and I want to get as many wins in this Gym Cup as possible because... Uh, because there are some really sweet rewards. I don't, I mean, I'm highly doubtful of being able to reach maybe like 60 wins. Uh, getting 59 would be tight because we get two boosters, but 65 would be tight because we do get access to a second Groudon, which will just be completely choice. But that is gonna go ahead and end off today's Pokemon Duel video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, then definitely be sure to leave a like down there as well as comment down below anything, any plays that you would have done differently and what you thought about the video itself. If you guys are new to the crew, definitely be sure to keep up with me on the socials to the left as well as subscribing to me up here and check out yesterday's video right here. But with all that being said, I'm gonna get up out of here and bounce. So thank you guys for tuning in to Channel 4. I'm your host, Frosty Cones, signing off. Peace.